<laughs> it's another episode of Jay's Kitchen, except I'm not in my kitchen. I'm in my friend Mish and Jen and Kim Finnegan's kitchen. Hello. Hello. And we have Mish here. Hello. And Jen Tompkins, otherwise known as, what is it? L- LJT. Little LJT. Jen Tompkins. And Tim Finnegan, his name is just Finn. Yeah. But uh, those people like Irish music don't know Tim Finnegan. At any rate, uh, we are going to be making what? Pan fried haddock. And? Oh, oh, with a mango salsa. Yeah. Mashed potatoes. And? Veggies. Oh my god! And that's basically it. Uh, But in the meantime, we have a little bit of Sailor Jerry spiced rum. (laughs) Stay tuned. I even have the glass. Oh my god, you do. I've got Finn's glass. Yeah. Now we, we're 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 gonna be cooking. They have a very great kitchen. It's all this woodwork. Look at this woodwork. And like there's like stuff, like these inserts put in, like it's nice. And uh Mish doesn't uh cook that often. So she's on potato. Mm-hmm. She's on potato detail. Okay. And how many do we want? Oh uh, we'll we do a bunch. We'll get a pot and I'll just let me take a look at the pot. I like a nice uh, spiced rum. Do you like a nice spiced rum, Mish? I do. I love it. Next time I... we should get some JD Shore spiced rum. That's done right here in Nova Scotia. I love Nova Scotia. Fish was kind enough to uh, peel these potatoes. And I just drove a couple uh, cloves of garlic in there, about four or five. And I'm going to cook it with the garlic inside. And it's going to slowly perfume potatoes. Now, when you cook potatoes, you want to leave them whole and start from cold water. They won't absorb so much water. It's very important to have the perfect mashed potato. When making mango salsa, you need a mango. And these things have a big pit in the middle. One could say that they're the pits. And uh, so what I do is just chop the top and the bottom off. And you're gonna kind of see where one side is like wider than the other. And you take your knife in and you can go all the way down and feel the, 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 the pit. And then around like this, and around like that. And now uh, I didn't do a good job chewing it, uh, of, of cleaning the pit, but I did that on purpose because Mish loves mangoes, don't you? They're okay. Oh, never yeah. mind that. Uh, and you can just kind of chew off the remaining of the... Mm. Uh, there's different ways to get the skin off, but you know what my favorite way of doing that, Mish? No, what it's is using it, Using a glass. You would just take it and push it in. And you can get the, I'm gonna have mango flavored rum. Mm. And you can just push it right off. And the skin's on one, oops, nice catch. And then you have the mango skin, and you have this. It's going to be a, 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 what are we making? Salsa. We're going to run it in thin strips. So you can just take your knife, actually, the safe way would be laying it down. Put your hand on top, and you can cut it in flat pieces, which I'm not doing that well. I'll get my other knife. So you can just put your hand on top, Cut it and thin. Ooh, I like this song. And then you can just cut little strips like this and then flip her right around and little cubes. And when you get them all, you can just drive them in the, uh, the trummy jigger here. There we go. So Mish. Mish? Yes. When you cut one of these mothers. Yes. Uh, people t- show you to do different ways. This is the best way. Oh, pepper. we're on fire. We're on fire. We're on fire. We're on fire. Oh, oh. So the fire wasn't a big thing. Just a little uh, bit of schmutz underneath the uh, burners. But anyway, you get this pepper, you put it down like this, and you just chop the top and the bottom off. And then in here, we get the core out. So you just 
take your knife and just drop it down and you can just kind of clean off all the everything. Now this, this inside piece here, that's kind of all white, it's called the placenta. So if you tell people you're eating placenta, uh, they might be, I think that's gross. But it's also a bit bitter, so you can actually, if your sh knife is sharp enough, if it's not, don't do it. You can actually even take the placenta right off. Now, normally you keep your fingers behind the knife. Uh, I like to live light on the edge. And then, then, I mean, just look at this. You can just make your little, your little, little strips. And it's perfect for uh, chopping the little squares. Perfect for salsa. You just get them all together. And just give it a little. And when this is done, you just add it to the bowl. And when you get to this, you can just chop it up in small little little things and like little strips and uh, chop it up and you'll be done in no time whatsoever. Hey, hey, now it's time to add, hi. Uh, now it's time to add the onions, Mish. Do you like onions? I do. As do I. Oh, hi there. Anyway, <laughs> get an onion, put it in, take your onion. If you want, you can put your fingers on either side to keep it nice and steady, and then you can just drop your knife down. And cut your little end off, and you just peel back the layers. Remember in Shrek, when Shrek said ogres are like uh, onions? I always think of Shrek when some, even when I'm peeling onion, whenever yeah, I see and, an and onion. The donkey's like, what, yeah. because they, they make you cry? No, because they're stinky? No, because they have layers. <laughs> Ogres have layers, onions have layers. And you just put your hand down. And if you want, you can even keep your knife down a little bit. So if it does slip, you're not gonna be ruining yourself. And you can just make these little slices this way. I need to uh, see my friend Sayer Patterson to sharpen my knives. They need to see a stone. And then, well, it's easier to do with a chef's knife. And you can just, And remember to keep your fingers like this, not like this, or your fingers will become part of the salsa. Well, Mish, we're gonna have to uh, get the juice out of this. I don't wanna cover your head like, Mish's head is a lime. It's like kids in the hall. Yeah, I'm squishing I'm your squ head. I'm squishing your head with a lime. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Anyway, to get to all the juice out of this, we're gonna stick this in the microwave for like 10, 15 seconds, and you're gonna get a lot more juice coming out of this. Did you know that? No. Well, now, now you know. Full of tips and tricks. Knowing's half the battle. <laughs> As the mayor called the internet, it's now microwaved. It's a little bit warm. It's a little more squishy. I'm just gonna roll the line, and I'm gonna grate all the zest off this and put it in with the. Uh, uh, I don't want to keep covering your head. Uh, I'm gonna uh, roll the uh, lime <laughs> to get more juice. And I'm going to zest it, and all the zest is going to go in the uh, uh, thing we're making. Salsa. So we've got our little ciders here. No, normally I wouldn't use my $300 Japanese knife to open them up, but we're celebrating. Bulwark cider from uh, New Ross, Nova Scotia, made with Annapolis Valley apples. Let me see the, show the label. So here's mud in your eye. Cheers. Now, uh, I forgot to add the jalapenos. So I just put two jalapenos in. I just took care of them like I would with a with a red pepper, chopped them up and drove them in there. If you take a look here, I have flour in here and just egg, it's beaten up, and panko crumbs, these Japanese uh, bread crumbs. They're bigger and they're crunchier. And when you flour them, you only use one hand, if not, both hands are going to be filled with uh, flour and uh, stuff. So you just want to flour. Yes, you're doing this so that the egg will stick to the fillet. Maybe. Oh, jeez, I should have used that. Oh, that's alright. A selection of uh, 
dishes are, are a bit limited, so we're making do what we have. And you just grab it by the tail end here and just kind of lay it down. You can sprinkle some over, just kind of push it in. If my friend Morgan's watching this, yes, I know how to push breadcrumbs in. That's an inside joke between her and I. Just pull up by the tail and put it here until you're ready to fry it up. Perfect. Uh, Finnegan's home. Finnegan's home. Look and out. Look out. Here comes Finnegan. Ginger's upstairs. She's not feeling too well. And we're going to fry that up right there. You know what I think this is time for? A Sambuca shot. Sambuca shot. <laughs> 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 How yeah, this like a like a goddamn man. You're gonna open that with a lighter. Go no, on. for all your viewers out there. I, I already got a video of it, but it's gonna get a different perspective. Now, the fall comes with your thumb. Look like at that. Hello. Skull. Skull. Here's Skull. mud in your eye. Mm -hmm. throw you. Wait. Cheers, me. Uh oh. <laughs> now I got Mish uh, a little break here. You get the pan nice and hot with some oil. You don't want to crowd the pan. So. Now this oil is going to be hot. So I'd be, I wouldn't be so cavalier with putting it in like I am. Now there's no salt in this, I'm gonna salt it when it's done. I don't want the water to come out. So I thought it should go. And in no time, it's ready to flip. Ooh. Look at that color. Now just be careful because oil gets really, really hot. If you burn yourself, stick in cold water. So I just put the uh, uh, potatoes in the slow cooker to keep warm. You may grab yourself a lot of potato. Actually, that's not near enough. We're hungry people. We're in the Maritimes. You like to eat. And Hopkins off the wall, for God's sake. Do what you can. Just kind of pile it on over there. Look at that. Just get some of your vegetables. Stick them right there. And then at the top of it all off, we got this mango salsa. Oh, yeah. Adds a bit of freshness to the plate. A bit of color and a whole lot of flavor. And the key is to be generous with it. And your end result is this mother right here. <laughs> yeah, that's for uh, Finnegan and uh, and Mish. So uh, bone ape tit. Bone ape tit. I'm gonna get these guys to do the taste test to that. I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> Just see how it works. It. I'm gonna devour this. I'm so that, that, those are big portions. I mean, those are big working man portions right there. Or working woman, uh, not to be gender you know. uh, alienating, or is that a thing? I don't know. Like the... Gender alienating. It's okay. Don't, I'll forgive you. Don't pick alien as gender. To which she said. <laughs> ah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Yeah. <laughs> That's mm. amazing. Jim. That's also fucking killer. Like what we did. Yes, yes we did. They, like these are my neighbors, you know? I know, I like, can't say that on cooking, but I said it. Cooking with neighbors. So I burnt one, and that's okay, because things happen. It's only one. Everyone seems to enjoy their food. And uh, panko haddock is very, very easy. Doesn't take much time. So until next time, I'll see you all later. <laughs>